Hey, welcome back to Getting It Done North of Seven. My name is Roland. Today, I have to change the cutting edge on my snow plow blade on my ATV. It's getting wore down. I've never changed it. So you don't actually have to buy a new one and replace it. You can actually undo these bolts, these carriage bolts, and then take your cutting edge and spin it around and make this your edge. This top, the top part, your edge, put it on the bottom. And you can use it like that for a while because right now this cutting edge here is worn on this side here and there's not a lot of meat here between let's say the edge of this bolt and here compared to the top of the bolt and this part so you got more meat on the cutting edge here so that's why i'm just going to flip it around and we'll be able to use that probably for another season maybe two i'm not sure yet because i haven't done this before but it's going to work good for at least a season So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab my impact gun and we're going to undo the nuts here. We're going to back them off and take all these carriage bolts off. And I'm going to show you what we'll do after that. All right, I backed all the nuts off. Now we'll just pop this blade off, this cutting edge right off of the blade. You see, you don't want to get to where you're wearing down your actual plow blade. That's what the cutting edge is for. If you wore this plow blade down to the point where those holes were, you'd have nowhere to mount your cutting edge to anymore. And plus, you'd be into this part here too. You know, you just wreck your blade and it's very expensive to replace. So try to flip your cutting edge around or get a new cutting edge before you start grinding down on your blade. Now mine isn't too bad. I did get the corners a little bit too much. I've been really busy and or else the weather's been too cold so I didn't get a chance to change it until now. So as you can see the cutting edge is doing its job right? It's wearing down over time. This is my fourth winter using the click and go plow blade so I think it's did its job. So now I'll just flip this cutting edge around and it'll, I'll get some more usage out of it for sure. But first I'm going to clean up this edge of the plow blade first. And just so you know, down in the description below of this video, I have a couple other videos. One, I'm going to put down there where if, let's say your uh, skid shoes are broken or you don't have any to use right away, I'm going to show you a, a, a hack for your plow blade that you can use. It won't cost you any money. All you need is a bit of ABS pipe or PVC pipe. You can just fit on the... You can just fit over the edge of your blade right here and it'll work out great for gravel driveways. I'll also have another video about plowing snow, plowing snow tips. You'll like that one. Now before I mount the cutting edge back on the blade, I'm going to put some Loctite on these, some blue Loctite on these carriage bolts to ensure that the nuts don't back off easy after it's installed. Okay, now, like I said, I'm just using some, it's not actual Loctite, it's thread locker. I'm just going to put a little bit on these uh, bolts. And while I'm doing this, I want to remind you to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show share with you a really cool tip for your plow blade. When I'm done this, I'm going to put the cutting edge back on. And while I'm doing that, it won't take me long, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing lots of good ATV tips and tricks and plowing and you know firewood hauling firewood wood with your ATV this channel's uh, a lot of fun stuff especially for guys so go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay I'm going to put this cutting edge back on and we're going to do it really quick just like this and actually while I'm thinking of it I'm going to share two tips with you at the end of this video so you want to stick around all right so I got the bolts and nuts on and I Tighten them up really quick with the impact gun. Not too tight because I didn't want to break them, so I'm just going to check them with the ratchet here. <clears throat> all right, it's installed. All the bolts are snugged up good with Loctite. Should be good. Now I'm going to show you two really cool tips for your snow plow blade. So the first tip is, you know when you're plowing and the corner of your cutting edge here is wearing. It seems to be wearing more than the other side. That's because you, when you have your blade turned, 
and you're shooting snow to the left or to the right, whichever way you're plowing, you're doing that way more than you are doing the other way. So mix it up. You know what I mean? Maybe one day you plow and you push everything to the left. Like, like me, I have a very long driveway. And when I plow everything to the left and I come back up the driveway, everything's to the left again, the left of me in my direction. So maybe the next time I'll do everything to the right. Just so you're not allowing so much wear on one side because when your blade is angled to the left or to the right, that corner there will dig in more to the ground when you're plowing. It'll it'll sit not it doesn't sit perfectly flat, it sits like that on an angle. So it's getting more wear on that side. So just do the opposite way the next time. And the next tip is for when you're plowing, and you know how the snow will build up on your blade and doesn't want to fall off good? You can use PAM. I've seen people do that. I've done that. What I'm going to start doing now is using car turtle wax or turtle car wax. And I'm going to coat this whole blade with that wax, and that'll work a lot better. And at the end of this video, you'll see two cards that will send you to two other videos that I have. Please give those a watch. You'll, I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Thanks for watching me change the cutting edge on a plow blade and why you should do it. And I hope you enjoyed the video and all the tips I shared with you. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.